Good day, beautiful souls. This is Isis, and I help people alter their realities by enhancing their vibrational frequencies. So today I'm in um, Colorado, uh, the CO90. And you can see the snow up here. It's actually such a wonderful, beautiful day. There's um, no, uh, no extreme weather, you know, it's just nice, beautiful, light snow wonderful place. So today I wanted to talk a little bit about the first agreement of the four agreements. The first agreement is be impeccable with your word. So the other day I was listening to something and it said kindness and forgiveness are better than charity. And I really sat and I thought about it. Now when we give charity but we don't give it out of love. There's no kindness there. Perhaps sometimes your mother, your father, your brother, your sister, even your spouse, even your children give charity. They do it out of annoyance. They do it out of disgruntlement. They do it out of the desire to have you go on your little way while they don't have to hear anything beyond your statement. But the reality was that whatever your statement was, whatever it was that you were requesting, you weren't requesting charity to begin with. You were requesting kindness. And I think it's really beautiful. Kindness and forgiveness are better than charity because now we're getting back to the charity mode and we take a look and if you then you look up and you say hey these people did an act of charity without kindness can you forgive forgiveness is also important now that's just one angle in every aspect of your life in everything you do you want to give kindness and it's easy to give kindness if you just love so you need to reach the vibrational frequency of love. Love is an act of kindness and love always forgives because there's no grudges held. And that is why it is the highest frequency, although joy is higher, but with holding love, holding love inside you, inside your heart, it's easy for you to be impeccable with your word. And that is the first agreement. It's very important when you speak something vibrationally. You don't want to speak something you really don't want. A lot of people do that. They think, oh, it's so comical. It's so funny. It's what I have learned. It's what I've learned from my past. And I'm going to bring that into my present. And it's going to follow me into my future. And I don't even understand what I'm doing and how I'm hindering my own life. And then they just continue to relive the familiar past in the present and it doesn't end in their future. So be impeccable with your word. I want you to sit down and I want you to think about your common statements. What do you generally say? And maybe this year in 2023, to begin with being impeccable with your word, to begin with the acts of kindness, try the power of yes. I did this back in 2019, my whole year of 2019. I said yes to everything, everything that was not wicked. And I was never requested to do anything wicked anyways. But um, when you hit that realm of I will do the power of yes. So let's say for example, somebody says, Hey, I have this wonderful product. I would like you to investigate it and maybe even join me in it. My friends are making this much money. I'm starting to make this much money and I want to help you and it's a pyramid scheme. It's okay to say yes, because that product, you don't wanna say yes because it's a pyramid scheme it's gonna help you make money. You wanna say yes because that product may be a benefit to you. And it came to you because you needed a benefit from that product for yourself. And you're getting discount rates and you do not need to worry about selling it because if it was your mission, it will easily flow to you. And if it was not your mission, the product came to you 
because you had a need for that particular product. That happened to me with the product of Secret. It's a Dead Sea Salt mineral and it raises vibrational frequency. It is the highest vibrational frequency on the earth. It is at 1004 point megahertz. Um, I love it. And I distribute it to myself, not to anybody else. So, um, and I would have said no, because that's the natural thing to do, right? But I was doing the power of yes that year, so it came to me. And it came, it was a need that I had actually, something that I am very happy that I have. And I'm a part of that product. And I have access to that product. So the power of yes. Now, other things on the power of yes that you might say no to. You're tired, you're not really in the mood to do anything. But you're manifesting your perfect partner. Or you're manifesting a great friend. Or maybe you're manifesting some kind of benefit that you're not able to get. So what you do is you're tired, so you want to say no. The power of yes. Say yes. Get up. Get ready and be excited and say, this is so exciting. I don't know what's going to happen, but I know that something really good is coming my way. and That is why I'm doing this activity today. That's it. Try the power of yes this year. Because with the power of yes, do more acts of kindness from the verbal communication skills. If your verbal communication skills are often negative or slanderous, let that go and say, you know what? That's not even me. That's not even who I am. That's somebody else that I'm just tagging their, re their jargon through my life. That's not even my way of thinking. And then sit down and say, I embrace myself and I release what I am not that of my parents or my grandparents that of which I continue to speak but in reality I am not I let it go today and I let it go tomorrow and I continue to let it go each day and each and every day I embrace who I truly am I am love, I am light, and I am the epitome of gaining knowledge. Knowledge is never in all, but it is something to be gained every single day for the rest of our existence. Remember, you are an infinite spiritual being having a temporary human experience, and you are endlessly gaining knowledge. I hope you all have a beautiful day.